Today, I'm going to show you how to go into your database and change your WordPress admin password. Now, there could be a lot of reasons why you might want to do this or need to do this. Um, one of them, maybe you switched web providers and you don't have access to the person who was building your website. You don't have the information, but you are still hosting your own website. Um, so you have access to all the you know files and the database itself. You can go into the database, update the user, and gain access to the to the WordPress control panel. So I use WP Engine as my web host, as my as my managed WordPress web host for several reasons. One of the top reasons is because of the support, and another reason is the ease of use. Uh, I used to use Bluehost, and it was just there was it was just scattered and all over the place and specifically for WordPress websites WP Engine is clearly the best and you can click on a link below and get to WP Engine's personal plan which is like thirty five dollars a month and I know that may sound like a lot of money um, if you're comparing it to like GoDaddy or some other you know kind of common web host but it's like the luxury web hosting for WordPress websites so with that said I'm in the I'm in the WP engine control panel here and it gives me instant access without having to use a password and have to have some external application um, it just has PHP my admin pre-installed and so I can access my database right from the control panel for this website website being Michael Baker digital and um, so when I click on PHP my admin, it'll launch um, PHP my admin. So depending on the prefix, you'll find the users table, okay? And you'll click on WP users or click browse. And here you'll see um, what, whoever users are already here. And for me, Michael Baker, um, this is my email address. And this is the user pass. And it's called it's it's hashed. So what you're looking at is like an encrypted version of you know what the password was. And now you don't know what it is, obviously, because this doesn't make any sense. But actually, this string equals the word password. This little text string right here. Um, and so what we're gonna do is you go to Google and you just type in MD5 hash generator, and you'll get to this place. Um, from Dan's tools, the MD5 hash generator. And so the, the, my string before was I used the word password. Um, that's not my password, so don't even try it. Um, but what we're going to do here is use this generator to create an MD5 hash of a string. So we'll just type the word like booyah, yeah. But make it like, you know, hardcore. You know, don't give anyone a reason to be able to figure out your password. So let's just use this as an example. Booyah, exclamation point, underscore, blah, 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 right? And then you're going to generate the hash. And so this right here, your hash is 630, this whole string. You're going to copy this string and you're going to take it back to PHP My Admin in the users table. Under user pass, you double click it and it'll highlight it. Get rid of the old one, paste in the new one, right? And just like that, I've updated the user, Michael Baker. The password is now this, booyah, that, 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 and that's it, the end. So your admin locked you out, but you still host your own website. You still own your own hosting. You can get right in there and take control of your WordPress website. Happy designing, happy developing. I hope this helped someone. Um, it's helped me in the past. And so I want to just quickly give a little insight as to how to get into the database to update your password. Peace.